Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Helen and today I just want to chit chat with you all for a little bit. Give you a quick update on what's going on in my kitchen, okay? I know I did a video with Christopher recently about eating raw and kind of like some of the choices I made in regards to like eating raw. I know I got a lot of questions on my Instagram and I even though I try to like have people come over to the YouTube because it's more... It's a longer video, I talk more, you know, that kind of thing. You only get like a quick 60 seconds on a short or, or a video on Instagram. So it's not really detailed. So people like to ask a lot of questions over there. But um, today is day 15. Today is day 15, okay? I have to actually look up the date. So you might hear the washing machine in the background. So this is a like taco meat salad. So it's some walnut meat I had like soaking for a couple hours. I put it in the food chopper with some Havana peppers, little like cumins, some fresh garlic, red onions, and a pinch of salt, right? And then I made like a tomato pico type of situation and kind of blended it. So it would be finer. And I added some avocado. I'll put a picture of it, what it looked like before I dug into this thing. So I'm also eating a watermelon. Well, some of a watermelon I actually is juicy. I actually cut some up for the girls and the other portion of the huge watermelon I juice. So I have about <clears throat> five jars of the 32 ounce juice and inside my watermelon juice, look how dark it is so you know it's sweet, right? I have, I juiced it in the blender. So I just blended it real good and strained it and then, you know, got the pulp out and it's just the liquid that's left, right? So I use peppermint and lemon basil in two jars, peppermint in two jars, and then one of the jars was just watermelon with the ginger and the peppermint. So basically everything's watermelon based, and then I just add like some flavor to it. Because I have a lot of lemon basil right here, which is good for you. I love the taste of the herb with sweet, it's like sweet and something. Not really sweet and salty, but it gives it like this burst of flavor. It's like it Adds to the flavor. Now people say, oh, put a pinch of salt, brings out the flavor in. Well, girl, basil will bring out the flavor, okay? So I have that in there. And then, of course, I was just trying to use up some of the mint before it dies out because it's hot. <laughs> okay, we're not going to go into that today, right? So I get a lot of questions on Instagram as well as TikTok. And sometimes in my shorts, when I upload shorts, not get it shorts or like 60 seconds so you don't really get to talk and explain like these meals, why I'm doing these meals, what's up with these meals, how I feel eating these meals, right? So I figured since I'm halfway there to my mark that I originally, let's take that back. Originally when I did this, I was like, I'm just going to do it for a couple of days, like seven days. Then when the seven day came out, I was like, well, I might as well do a couple of weeks, you know? And then the other day I was like, ah, I'll just go for 30 days. You know, my homeboy just went 30 days. He does it a couple of times a year, a couple of times a year. And his sister did it for 45. And I was like, Okay, I mean, they and they eat like regular food. This is just, you know, she did it because she was proud of her brother for doing it. And then she just kept going kind of thing. He did it for help the first time. And now he does it a couple times a year, like two or three times a year. So, and he, I think he just felt like it was that time to do it. So I'm proud of him. I think his 30 days ended sometime last week. But knowing him, he's probably still going. <laughs> Because he's not really counting days. He's just enjoying the process. And he's not like me where, you know, he's not adventurous to try all these different types of foods. And he's just eating lettuce and salads and whatever, no oils and a bunch of fruit, you know, kind of thing. So for me, it wasn't a weight loss thing this time around. This time it was more like, I just wanted the energy. I just wanted the clear head. I just wanted to feel really good. So the, normally in the past, I have done like 30 day juice fast, maybe four or five day juice fast. I used to do the mono meals where I would eat nothing but bananas for like two days or three days to give my body a, a rest from eating. I would eat nothing but like watermelon and like pineapple to give my body a rest from digesting, you know, that kind of stuff, right? And it was good. And then I, I started craving like green juice. And then I kind of got out of everything. And I'm sure it's during, you know, the big C. I kind of like got away from all that. But anyway, 
The last time I did this, it was winter and I felt so good. I remember telling y'all over and over, this feels so good. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. And then, no, it wasn't the last time because I did it and I started taking my CMOS when I did it. And I remember telling y'all, oh my God, I feel so good. I don't know if it's a sea mouse, if it's the raw food, what it is. Oh my God. Now I can tell you this, since I've been taking my sea mouse, I still feel good. It's not sponsored. I still feel good. <laughs> I still enjoy taking my sea mouse every day. Speaking of, they have a 4th of July sale going on right now. I have an affiliate code if you want to use it. But there's a 4th of July sale going on. And I saw yesterday on the site, because I was looking for, y'all know me, I'm always looking to see what they got new okay because so i was like you know what? i'm gonna order some sea moss and you know i'm gonna do like i used to do soak it with the water and the lime and i'm gonna make me some sea moss facial mask <laughs> and i'm online i was like oh my god what's this so they got some new powder the collagen powder i tell you that the girls love okay so they have one i think it's coconut and chocolate or something and one is like cappuccino or something like that which is good for your hair your nails your skin you know all the things and it doesn't have caffeine and i was like mm. Now, the uh, collagen powder actually has sea moss in it, too. So, if you if you get it, <laughs> let me know. I'm not going to get it this time because they got they still got powder left. So, I'm not getting it this time. And I don't really take it. I just take, like, a little bit of it, like a half a teaspoon, and throw it into my, like, black coffee. But I'm not really doing, like, I've been doing coffee every two, three days, like, black coffee. But I'm not really doing coffee. I'm making this one and drink it. So, that's crazy. But it's the smell of it, really. I probably should just take the coffee beans and smell them in the morning and just keep moving. But, yeah, so if you're interested, it's affiliate link. But if you're interested, just go look at the site, girl. I was like, oh, okay. But y'all know I'm going to take my sea moss daily. It's two capsules a day, okay? It's the minerals that your body already has in it. But the older we get, the less we got, honey. These, these bodies right here. Can you imagine what we have? This is... Real quick, I'm off the subject. Can you imagine how much your body really has been through? So if you're in my age era, you in that Freaknik age era, you in that Kappa Beach Party age era, the the high school skip day era, you know what I mean? We in the um what's that drink called? Oh well, them college drinks and them noodles in a pack with chili and cheese. Like we in that era where we we ate some stuff. We did some things back in the day. And girl, these bodies are yet holding on. And then some of us are like, I don't know why I don't look like this and why I feel like this. And I feel hard. I'm always tired. Girl, look. girl, our bodies are like, ma'am, I mean, what you want us to do? You done worked us to death. <laughs> you done ate bad. Filled us with crap, sodium, and, and um, what's that, processed food? Listen. I was telling uh, Christopher the other day when you know, you know about releasing, right? How you can eat good and clean. And then I can go get that cleanse. Y'all remember that cleanse I did? I told y'all, I was like, babe, excuse me. When we gonna turn off the faucet? Because it's still going. Like, what's going on down here? Why are we still going? Like, you do you really think that what you eat right now is releasing? Yeah, it still be stuff in there. That's why... You can go like a day or two and drink water and eat nothing and still have something coming because there's still something there. That's why people can do a cleanse, go get a colonic and still have something there. Like, can you imagine? Mm. Man, all the ice cream and cookies. And my, my thing back in the day used to be ice cream sandwiches. Or what's that ice cream with the chocolate and the nuts on it? Ooh, that was the thing. That thing is banned. Actually, that ice cream is banned in a couple countries. I'm about to be 50. Girl, my body is like 50 years of crap. <laughs> Not really, because it's been like 12 years since I've been, since I went uh, like vegetarian and vegan and then plant based. So I've always like good food and started eating healthy for the last 12 years, but I don't know. I just feel a little bit different now. I feel like the older I get, I like you. Okay. I just like the way I feel. I like, the, I like this energy. I love the taste of juice. Like this is just, it intrigues me. I'm like, Oh, this is so good. And like I, when I'm doing this, I hardly drink water. So I'll drink like a glass of water, maybe two, maybe. I don't know. I like water with lemon. And I mean, I put it in my tea, but for the most part, if I'm drinking watermelon juice or celery juice or cucumber juice, I'm not even thirsty. I'm so hydrated because it's instant hydration at my cellular level, right? It's not just like 
flushing me because water will flush you, right? And then the fruit juice is hydrated me. This is just me and my opinion, right? And it is providing me with nutrients where water and having, right? It just kind of helps to carry out some things. Well, this, you know, and celery and cucumbers. I don't know. It's just nature's water. And I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so many different opinions out there. And everybody is entitled to their own. And like I always say, eat what, ma eat what makes you feel good. Do what makes you feel good. And I tell my kids the same thing. It, I'm not going to pressure you to do anything you don't want to do. Eat what makes you feel good. I'm going to give you these choices. And I'm going to teach you, you know, what I think about these choices. And it's up to you to make those, you know, better choices. So, day 15. Um, I don't feel like it's day 15. I feel like time went by, like, really fast. Extremely fast. I don't feel like I ever struggled to eat anything. I think my go-to thing is watermelon, watermelon juice. My go-to is smoothie bowls. I love the variety. I love the different bowls I've created in the last couple weeks. It takes a while. So it takes me quicker to drink them than to eat them. So smoothie bowls are just thicker. Less almond milk, right? Less liquids, which is less calories, right? And it's thicker. And so you're actually eating and chewing your food because I also put toppings like strawberries and raw walnuts and chia seeds and bananas and blackberries blueberries all the things now if i was just eating plant-based and wasn't eating raw i would probably have granola on top but right now sweet is sweet to me like really sweet i'm really enjoying that but it's also 100 plus degrees outside and i'm outside like in it and working in the garden even just water in the garden right so it's refreshing and it's cool and it feels good and I'm full off of it, but I'm not sluggish full. I can get up, move around, and keep moving. It's not that push away from the table, pop your button open, breathe, and take a nap. There's no itis involved in eating like this. I feel like, I don't know, I feel really good. And I feel like I look forward to eating. I look forward to the flavors of, when I eat oranges now, the more I cleanse my palate, Oranges are really strong to me now. <laughs> like yesterday, I ate like three oranges at a friend's party and like one fourth of a pineapple, about a half a pint of strawberries, right? That was my, I don't know, I guess you say dinner, but I had a smoothie when I got home and I was, it was so good. And I kept saying, oh, these oranges are good. Everybody else was like, oh, okay. But for me, my palate is, has been cleansed or it's being cleansed, right? Because the longer you go, the more... You cleanse your, you know, your palate. You cleanse, you know, from your inside out. So, it was so good. I'm really enjoying fruit. I don't know. I think, I'm, so I'm telling myself that the last two days of the 30 days, the 29th and 30 days, I might just do all fruit just to kick off the end of it. You know, whatever. You know, if I make it that long. And I can say this. Everybody who's ever gone vegan, gone vegetarian, gone pescatarian, gone... Uh, what's another one, y'all? Plant-based, gone raw, did a three-day detox, did a seven-day detox, did a 30-day, 45 juice only. Everybody, I would say pretty much everybody, right? Because this is the human mind, has thought to themselves, can I do this? So if you're sitting at home right now saying, oh, girl, I ain't gonna do that. Ain't no way I'm gonna sit up here and eat nothing but fruits and vegetables for no 30 days, no three days. Blink. So you have to remember, it's temporary. It's temporary. It's sometimes it's hard for us to remember what we did yesterday. It went by so fast. If you think about what you did last week, you'll be like, dang, last week went by fast. Some people wake up on Friday and be like, ooh, it's the weekend already. That means Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday could have been a raw day. You see what I'm saying? I always suggest when people do these little quick two-day, three-day raw day things to start like on a Friday or maybe a Thursday, Cause you'll start really probably going on Friday, <laughs> and then you know you can really go Saturday, Sunday in the privacy of your own home. Okay, that's kind of what I say. Or if you've got a bathroom at work where you can be, you know, comfortable in, because you, you're going to start releasing some things that your body's been holding on to. We all have parasites, and there's parasite cleanses out there, teas for that. But I think I think that in conjunction with all that, eating raw for a couple of days will help get rid of some of that as well. 
and it just feels good. Like, I don't feel like I lost weight. I just feel more energy. I feel lighter. I feel more clear. I don't have this fog thing. I'm working on my eyesight, too. That's a whole other thing. And so I just feel, I feel really good. There's so many salads and so many different ways to make salad. And so to answer a few questions, no, I don't, I'm not doing this forever. I think that like just continuously, like every day as a lifestyle. I think for me, as I said in the last video, I'll do like two or three days a week, which is raw foods. Sometimes I used to do that anyway, where I would say raw before four, when I would eat all these salads and do all the stuff I wanted before four, and then I would eat like something healthy. But then I realized that that healthy meal was cooked and it would sit on my stomach and it would try to, instead of me getting the proper rest, my body's in the middle of trying to digest like a raw, a, a full cooked meal, right? So I learned that, oh, okay, so eat a little some raw in the morning, which is always fruits or whatever. Don't drink your coffee till after 12. Eat your nice, warm, whatever cooked meal for lunch. And then eat something lighter, as in not cooked for dinner, but as much as I want. Because really and truly, when you're eating raw, so people would say, <clears throat> This bowl is, is huge. You're going to eat all that. And it's like, this one bowl is probably your pack of fries that you pull up to the wind to get. You know what I'm saying? It really is not potato fries. It's really chemicals. So, it, you know, that's a whole other story. Now, I just saw a whole documentary on Pringles and how there's not a potato in Pringles. But they're called potato chips. It's really weird. But anyway, yeah. So, I can eat this bowl. And this bowl will satisfy me, satiate me for hours. And once you get past so many days, you begin to maybe not require as much, but in order to get your calories, to get your fiber, to get everything you need, because, you know, proteins in almost everything you eat when it comes to fruits and vegetables, proteins, you know, it's, in, it's a whole other argument. I don't know why the argument still stands with all the research that's out there. When it comes to iron, oh my God, there's so many iron-enriched uh, raw foods. Like, you're not going to miss out on them. The thing is, it's eating the right amount of them. So, whereas people would eat, you know, a burger and fry and feel full and satiated or whatever at, I don't know, what are they, 900, 1100 calories, you know, for a burger and fry by the time, you know. So, it's hard for me to get that many calories unless I do this big bowl, unless I do my protein smoothies, unless, you know what I mean? So, we do eat more um, when you're eating raw. That's why you see people with bowls of oranges, bowls of mangoes. So, day 15. Day 15, I feel good. I am ready for the last leg of the race, right? And I saw where a couple of people said they was going to do it for the weekend, maybe do it for a day or two, just to see how they feel. Man, can you imagine eating grapes, drinking watermelon, and like strawberries all day, one day, all day? We talking about ooh, that's a good cleanse with them with them grapes, friend. Okay, but you have you'll be cleansing and hydrated, <laughs> cleansing and hydrated. Watermelon cheap right now in Texas at least, so you can really get a watermelon and do some things and really hydrate themselves, right? But um, yeah, I don't have anything negative to say about it because I enjoy food. I think for those who don't cook or don't like creating meals or or creative. It might be hard to be creative in the kitchen and you might stick to like a couple of things you just like, right? It's harder for people who don't like fruits and vegetables. If you ain't a fruit and vegetable person, it's going to be hard. It ain't for you. I mean, everything ain't for everybody, right? When it comes to what else? That's about it. Like, I don't really have much to say on the matter except for it just feels good. Someone said, I mean, how much weight are you trying to lose? with just eating raw. And I, I never said I was trying to lose weight eating raw. I just said I like the energy of it and I like to feel good. So I'm not trying to lose any weight eating raw. Um, fat, you know, you, you're gonna lose fat in your sleep anyway if you eat a healthy raw meal for over time and you don't eat like late at night. You give your body that those hours it needs to digest like the food or whatever. Giving your body a break from the processed foods. You, you're going to lose that fat anyway. You're going to lose that weight anyway. It might just be a little bit. It might be a lot. But for me, I'm not trying to lose 30 pounds in 30 days. <laughs> no, ma'am. 
because she's going to go right back to, you know, plant-based beans and rice. I mean, on the real. I might make a little bit more healthier choices when it comes to when I get back to eating hot foods. But, uh, yeah, two to three days a week, definitely, like, this type of eating. Because it's good and it feels good. I know someone asked me the favorite thing. I told y'all smoothie bowls. I love savory foods. I love trying new foods. So where do I get the inspiration from? That was another one. So sometimes I go on Instagram and I type in hashtag raw vegan. And you would not believe how many millions of reels, posts, TikToks, Instagram shorts are out there for like detoxing, raw vegan, vegan for a day. Some, it's so many recipes out there. It's crazy. So I don't really take the recipe. I take the idea of it and just make something my own. You know, it's kind of what I do with your girl, everything in life. Take a look at them. Okay, I might do a little something like that and make it my own. That's basically my inspiration. There's a couple of people I've followed over the years. Of course, Rara Christina, because you know, I used to volunteer at her co-op here in Houston when she did her organics produce when we used to buy produce from her uh garrick used to volunteer with me as well with the produce boxes so i've known about this <laughs> way before christopher was born you know so it's not like i've never known about it unfortunately i took the information the data the information all the research and just stored it in the back of my brain and it was probably because uh, there were people saying it's crazy. You can't live like that. You're not going to be full. You're not going to be able to do that. All that, right? So that's why I had a talk with Chris the other day. And was like, I was just shocked. I just couldn't believe you did it. I just felt like he was so uh, addicted to like the sugar. The sugar in life. Everything sugar, right? So I had to tell him, you know, I was proud of him. I just was shocked. I, di I didn't believe it. And then I told him, I said, this is probably the same way others feel when they see me do things. They're like, because I told y'all at one point, people would say black, black women don't do that. Black folks don't do that. Black folks don't eat vegan. Black, black people don't go to yoga. Black people don't not eat meat and eat mushrooms. Black people don't eat raw food. Like it was crazy. Black people don't drink juice. That was the one. I used to make juice on Instagram and people would always say, are you black? <laughs> it would be me in the video, right? And I would be like, okay. I told you, I get the, I get the, the same thing in my DMs. It's, it's cool to see a black woman organizing. It's cool to see a black woman with clean kitchen. Remember, everybody I know uh, got a clean kitchen. <laughs> like, I be thinking to myself, like, okay. And right now, it's so common, like, with organizing and just, I don't know. It's the weirdest thing. Like, uh, yeah, so imagine back in the day. So that would have been, like, just say, like, 15 years ago or so. When that was, like, uh, a thing. I would make juice and smoothies and people would be like, but why? Why don't you just eat the food? Why are you blending the food? And I would be like, well, I just need the nutrients and I'm going to give my body time, uh, a break from processing or, you know, like food, breaking down food. It's like, oh, you're different. But I love being different and I love doing it so I can show you, you, you can do it too. I have, I just made mushrooms with like onion, garlic, peppers and all that kind of stuff into like a taco flavored meat for the girls burritos on the stove. Now, I cooked it and I could smell it. I didn't even taste it because I used the same exact season, same amount in my raw mushrooms. So, I don't have to taste it, right? I could smell it, but I also smell it in my bowl here. So, I'm not hungry for it. I'm not hungry for it at all. And I, I sure don't want a tortilla. I have no desire for a tortilla. The only thing I think I've desired this whole time is one day I wanted a pancake. I didn't eat it, of course. And a couple of times I wanted tortillas because I like to dip tortillas in salad. It's the crunch of it. So I've learned to add raw okra, shredded carrots, something that gives me that, you know, whatever. I don't like celery in my salad. I've experienced that. I rather juice it. So I know me, if I can chew a little something, sometimes I throw like some chopped cashews to raw. And they'll give me that, that crunch I need and I'm good. So I'm learning. I'm really learning and I'm experimenting. And the experience is good. And I like that others 
get to see the experience and maybe one day be inspired to just give their body a break. It's, it's not like, it's not this horrible thing. It's not this hard thing. It's just saying to yourself, you know, I'm about to give my body a break. Fourth of July is here. I'm about to eat these hot dogs and, and what burgers on the grill. And the fifth, I'm just going to give my body a break so it can get rid of all that mac and cheese and potato salad I had, you know, pinto beans, what you call that stuff? Baked beans, baked beans. And I'm just going to eat fruit all day, just give my body. It's that, you know, when you think about it. I don't care if you're 23, 33. That's still 30 years of eating <laughs> some stuff. Half this stuff, oh my gosh. Just researching half of this stuff and how much stuff has carcinogens in it. I'm just like, oh my gosh. And how fructose corn syrup, how bad it really is for you. Like, I know it's bad for you, right? But reading it, it's like, oh my goodness. It makes you feel like, it makes me feel like, oh my God, I'm a horrible mom. Uh, I Sometimes I buy ketchup because it's on sale and it's cheaper for me to buy. And then, but I would rather buy this ketchup because it doesn't have high fructose corn syrup because it's better for them. Y'all know my kids drink ketchup. You know, we, we joke about that all the time. Ketchup and syrup, you know. But everything has sugar and everything turns to sugar. I mean, any car is going to turn to sugar, you know. You know, it's just really crazy how addicting sugar has become. And um, I told the girls this morning, the first couple of days is hard for me because I like to add the raw sugar in my coffee or get the, the almond milk creamer that's flavored. And I have a headache for the first two days. And my body's like, ma'am, I don't know what you're doing, but I'm gonna need the sugar. I'm gonna need the coffee. It's not the coffee, I'm gonna need the sugar. <laughs> and then once I get that third day, it's like, oh, okay, I'm good. So I hope that answers some questions. Neither one of the girls, they like, they wanna do the plant-based thing, but they don't wanna do the raw thing. They'll eat some raw foods, but not just strictly, you know, and I don't feel like they've kind of like, well, I feel like Tara could benefit from it for about four or five days just to help with skin, clean up skin. But she's on the um, CMOS, what do you call it, gummy. She's taking a CMOS gummy. So um, actually, I was supposed to take a picture yesterday. I actually took a picture, I don't know if she did not, of her skin. And then we're going to do it again on the 31st and see what it looks like with her drinking more water, flushing her system, and trying to, you know, get some of these toxins out and take her CMOS and see how it works for her. So we're doing that. Other than that, that's it. I just wanted to check in with y'all and answer some questions. I know I've got a lot of questions. I have a lot of videos I need to edit and put up as well. And I'll be working on that this week for this channel for sure. I also have, yeah, I got a few things. I got some stuff in here, some stuff in Twisted Lily, a few candles. I just need to film it and share it with you all. Twisted Lily sent me a fragrance too. So shout out to everyone who watched that video from Sense Angel who sent me out those beautiful bottles the M. Mikola fragrances the Nook Vini as well as the Royal Musk and the House of Oud Almond Harmony mmm man I'm still cheesing about that one that was a good that was a good review I really like those fragrances so I'm just you know look I'm grateful for June June's a good month for me when it came to like reviews working with companies experiencing new foods having clarity having more energy, releasing some things that have been really bothering me, going through, just getting through Father's Day. It's just, yeah. And then I lost a lot in my garden because of the heat and it didn't bother me. It didn't affect me. I just planted more seeds, right? Which was good. The plant upstairs, which I thought was really gonna bother me, the big, huge fiddle fig leaf, all the leaves fell out when that room hit 90 degrees upstairs when we didn't have AC for five days, six days. And even through that, <laughs> I'm, I'm still blessed and we're still grateful. Like even through all that, we lived in 90 degree temps upstairs. You know what I'm saying? I'm still grateful and I'm still blessed to be here. And June was a good month. I'm, I'm prayerful that July will be even better. I have a lot of things that I'm working towards for July. I think July is going to be amazing. July is going to be amazing because we're starting off in the middle of a cleanse. We're starting off with a clear mind, a clear heart, an open heart and an open mind. So, yeah, if you have any more questions, just ask me down below. I'm available. I have opened up my Instagram messaging. I had blocked it off and just shut it down because I was getting a lot of 
unwanted messages, <laughs> lewd, naked, just ignorant. Like I, I swear you would think we was too old for this. And I now it just comes to my phone, so it brings all freaking that. <laughs> bling bling. It talks about not when comments, but when people message you in a comment or message you directly or ask specifically. It comes to my phone. It's it's so. I just put my phone on do not disturb at night, and then my other phone. I tell Garrett, you know, call me on that phone if you ever have an emergency. But my main number, girl, I'm like, oh, girl, that phone be going. But I'm able to answer people who have like real questions. They're not just sending me memes and messages. They have real concerning. Like, I want to do this. I need to do this. I need help. Like, I'm not a doctor or anything. I'm just someone who decided to do what's best for me. And what made me feel good. And when I feel good, I want everybody else to feel good. I mean, it's a feeling that I just feel like, man, everybody got to feel this one day. Like, like man, if everybody could feel like this, it would be less hate, <laughs> less attitudes. You know, it's a lot of people with some horrible attitudes in the world. It's always negative. 24-7. Mm. I ain't better do it. Uh, I learned a lot during this so far these last couple of weeks, I learned not to bother people. I learned that uh, my problems are mine and and they're for me to solve. Sometimes people can't take your stuff when they got their own stuff going on. So um, I haven't shut down or closed off or anything. I'm always open you know, I talk to people. I talk to y'all all the time, but, and I like talking to people, but I've learned lately that um, not everybody care about your stuff. <laughs> what you got going on? I only talk to people who are open to receive. I only talk to people who are open to receive. That way, I know the line of communication can go both ways because I'm always open to receive. So that way, we can learn from each other, right? So, and I'm liking this new, I'm only talking to people who's open to receive. And open, just open, because you have to have, have an open mind to do any of this. It has to be, you, you have to see past right now, today, in this moment, because a lot of this is for the, my future self. Not for my today self. It's for my future self. For my grandkids, great grandkids, it's for my future self. Anything happens before then, you know. I'll see y'all in the next video. Have an amazing day. Hope I can give you a garden update for July. I took a lot of you all suggestions that you all gave me on the last garden video. Uh, if you're watching. Okay, this might be a whole different audience, friend. Some of y'all might be like, oh, we'll garden, but we ain't finna eat this. <laughs> I'll see y'all next video. Peace and blessings. If you're new, make sure you subscribe if you like this type of content. Even if, you know, this is just temporary, friends. You can go back to plant-based, but I still like to chit-chat and talk about women's health, right? And things we got going on with our bodies. I would love to open up the chat about women's bodies and our monthlies and all that kind of stuff. Maybe we'll do that on Patreon. That way it's more private. But, um, yeah, this is going to be a really amazing month. Amazing one. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Make sure you subscribe. If you're not, click the link down below. Make sure you do the drop down arrow and click all so you'll be notified each and every time I do an upload. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace and blessings.